the Santiago Bernabeu, home of the mighty Real Madrid. Champions League winners in 2016, 2017 and 2018. La Liga winners in 2020. But now it's time for the it's time for us to take over and make them even greater. Let's go. What's happening folks? Welcome to a brand new series on this channel today. Real Madrid Let's Play. If you're excited for this series, hit the like button down below and subscribe if you're new as well. It will be daily content, but right now I'm just coming from my still coming from my um whole uh dental surgery. So obviously I'm just gonna do one video today, have a day gap, then start on it'll be Saturday next no stay Wednesday, isn't it? So Friday next episode. This video is just to get into look at the objectives they want, the finances, the formation we're gonna play, and you guys hear your thoughts down in the comment section. Round is a series I've always wanted to do long term. The aim of this series is simply to win everything with Real Madrid. That's Champions League, Club World Cup, all that. So let's get started then. So let's have a look what they are saying. Obviously, history of the club, we know that. Um, no direct to football. I'm doing that. Definitely getting into football. Def definitely getting into football. And that kind of thing, though, I'll do off camera and just, you know. All in the, the behind the scenes stuff. So that's the formation I reckon if we, we should play. Okay. Um, I've got different ideas. I might go for two things again. I have a section of formations created. So what they're saying for the um, kind of culture and vision and expectations. So they won from the league. No surprise there. What a final Champions League. Surprising, I thought it'd be a bit higher as a, as a base start, but okay. Want to expand the stadium? Yeah. Increase cushion revenue? Those two could be linked together properly. And work within budget? Yeah, makes sense. Play attacking football? Sign high rotation players? Makes sense. And sign players under 23 for the first team? Mm hmm. Okay. Interesting. Not sure I'm going to do that one, but I'll definitely do the um, first one. Okay, so let's look at the finances at Real Madrid. Oh, quick save. So, yeah, um, obviously, check the week off, guys. Obviously, talking is very weird. Um, I keep an eye on it. It's just very weird to talk. I don't really do any damage with talking. Um, streaming comes back when I feel comfortable to do so. Uh, Fear of the talking constantly might be a problem. I'm working on Sunday though, so I'm doing like six hour shift. So that's a good indication as to what. How, if I'm really hurting on a six hour shift talking, because the gum is still not quite, obviously not fully healed yet, um, that, could, that could be a problem. So, finances, very good. £120 million balance overall, which is pretty damn good. Uh, we've got a £54 million transfer budget, which is not bad either. Um, so we've got a bit of scope to, to buy some players uh, if, we, if we, we, we want to, which is good. Uh, what's the debt looking like? Well, I can't guess. I can't guess at this based on how desperate that guy is um, to get Champions League, to get the Super League. The debt's not paid till twenty. 20 oh God. I mean, it shouldn't be a problem for us, really, because we can sell players and we're quite a big club. We should be Champions League every season, so it shouldn't affect us really that much, to be honest with you. Um, but let's wait and see on that, won't we? So, let's look at the team report. Oh, sorry, no, tactics first. So, what do they recommend we should go with? Control possession. Go with Tiki Taka, because I kind of want to do that. And I'm going to go with 4 2 3 1 for now. Um,. But obviously, you guys in the comments section can give your thoughts down below what you think we should we should do with this formation. Uh, obviously, I will have on other formations as well, so I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just go and um, do the same again with a DM formation. Obviously, I'll look at these more in depth um, away from the camera, and then I'm gonna do another one, um, which is gonna be wing play, and it's gonna be that. They're the three I like to use. I don't use this one often. Uh, I usually use one of these two, but I think it's a good idea to have three tactics there from day one to make sure we've got things set up so we can alternate quickly if 
we get to a point where, for example, um, we're down against 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 ten men. I got look at half an hour to go. I can put this tactic on. Obviously, change the rules, obviously, and we can just slot it quite easily in. Obviously, get the get the win if we desire to go that go that direction with, with the formation. So, what do I reckon team reports? So, actually, let's get the um, what I think will be my main tactic thus far. Obviously, I'll have a look in what players are what like and and your thoughts as well in the comment section. But if we're going to do a four-two-three-one, what do I reckon we need? What do I reckon we need? I can see why they're saying DM. So straight away, where's Vinicius Junior? Yeah, straight away, I'm looking at. I'm thinking we need an AMC. AMC. A left winger, maybe, but we can probably pay his junior there. AMC, right winger, and a striker is what I'm thinking. I mean, Mariano's not bad, um, but I think we can do better. I think we can get a young player. We should lean into that kind of club vision of sign. Um, he plays for the first team, so we can buy a young striker there. That would tick that box, of course, wouldn't it? So I'm thinking maybe we go... Maybe we sign a young... Hmm. Interesting. AMC, right winger and striker seem to be the things they need to worry about, really. If you play 4 to 3 one if you, think, if you think there's a bit of formation, because obviously got Odegaard is going to come back, who'll be an AMC, so it might be that... Hmm, it's interesting. Again, obviously, I have to look at the terms of budget, who's available, what, what the cost, but that's... Those are the few years looking at striker, young striker, easy to find one of those. Right winger, probably um I've got a target in mind for that area. Um but again I'd see about finances. AMC, probably a youngster. Uh of all or decent quality player can come in. Again, I have to see the market, what people what people say is available. So what is the um current facilities looking like? Superb so training and youth facilities, good to see. I'll probably try and come in come in come increase those at any point. Yep, it's saying that. I won't do that day one, though, because they'll probably say no. And the stadium, obviously, want to expand that. They want to do that. Um, so I will try and expand that uh, at some point. Look, even in 3D, so you can see the stadium as well, which is good to see, which is good good for you guys. So, yeah. Um, key places in Madrid. Well, obviously, I'm not on the, the summer database that's been, that, 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 that I've been done. Reason for that, simply put, is because... The only reason to do that would be if it was a, if it was an major sign for Real Madrid, and also a fire has been Alba. Now, of course, if you say, "Oh, do do not the database," things change every five seconds, so it's not going to be current, is it? So, why not start with a database we all know and go for? Because if I was to start today and tomorrow, Varane goes to United, which could happen, which could happen, this database is already out of date anyway. If it was, if it was, so, I just think why not stick with a database we all know about and go from there. Uh, and we can also try and fix Real Madrid uh, after, you know, the poor showing Champions League football they, they've had recently. The, a lot of Asian players need to revamp the team as well. So this is the aim of the series, to win the Champions League and the Club World Cup. That is the plan. Win everything. The only thing that I'm not fussed about would be the Super Cup. Uh, but again, that could be a challenge. We've got to win it all. Um, I've never done it before in a series. And I've never done Real Madrid series before long term. I've done a bit of series with them, but never done one that's long term like this. So that could be cool. So the key players for them, obviously Varane, priority, getting renewed, um, because obviously they don't want to avoid the real life situation they've got right now. Benzema, love him. Gutted that United didn't get him in, get him in the summer and the wins at Leon. Um Hazard. Not been been a while since I managed him, and when he was at Leo, I signed him when a youngster. Um, very very good, and I enjoyed managing him. So if he can do the same for us today in this series, Asensio could be our AMC this season. I don't want to sell him. Um, so but obviously if we get a big offer for him, I've got other options I can get get in there. I'll go with that. Uh, other players Valverde again. I played in the marriage before, so I'm fascinated to see how he get how he how he gets on. Um. Ramos, of course, still here. Again, like I said, I talked about why I'm not using this from a database. And 
Anybody else I'm really keen to emerge? Rodrigo is somebody that I'm fascinated about as well. I mean, could be somebody that we use on on right wing as well. Um, what's his junior's foot, right footed? What's his weak foot like on, on, on Rodrigo? That's, that's, a, that's a key point for me. He's on his left foot. So we could put him on the right hand side of the inside forward. Um, but again, I'll have to wait and see on that. So, scouting. Let's look at the noise for scouts. So, pretty good in South America. But when we get into Europe, not as good in like Eastern Europe and Scandinavia and UK. Now. So, I think improving this, I want to get these all green by the end of the series. That'd be cool if I could pull that off. Um, but again, I'll have to wait and see what we've got in terms of budgets and players available and also your thoughts down in the comment section on that so yeah that is the series guys the season starts with um ibar um in the first game of the season and then levante oh you derby oh i think we've got to do i think we've got to do that really don't we so i might skip ibar as like an offline Non-commentary episode the game. Then do Levante and let's go do Levante and let's go Madrid together. That's what I'm thinking of doing. So um, yeah. So guys, short intro. Just getting started. Hope you're looking forward to this. I have got other plans of the series as well after this one. Um, the streams come back when I feel comfortable. Hopefully, um, I sound okay. It feels weird talking, but as long as it's going out well clear, that's great. Um, it is a distraction from, distraction from what I've been mean, obsessed with it for weeks. It got infected now, so I'm back recording now, guys. Try and get some distractions. So, if you're excited, hit the like button, hit the like button down below. Subscribe as well for daily content after Friday. Um, also, um, thoughts down in the comment section on transfers, formations, all that stuff. I'll catch you all next time. Bye bye.